What's going on, Lead Gym Beast? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. I have a really cool video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to create a guided tour uh, for your brand new clients and customers for either your SaaS product, your course, whatever it is. I mean, there, there's really no limit to this. And it's just a, a really neat uh, additional feature you can add to your product or service to help um, to help onboard your new clients and customers, teach them how to get started. What does this button do? What does that button do? And uh, it's, it's also really just engaging. It's really interactive. It's just a cool feature to add to your product and service. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to actually implement this and uh, get this up and running as soon as possible. Right. So uh, my only ask is, as usual, uh, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. And uh, make sure you subscribe, join the Facebook group, check out the links in the description. If you don't mind going through my affiliate links for the products in this video, I would really appreciate it. It does help support the channel, and I really do appreciate your guys' support. All right, let's rock and roll. You'll see down here at the bottom right, so I'm logged into my SaaS product right now. And you'll see that uh, there's a notification here to start a tour. All right, so let's start the tour and see what happens. Basically, the way I have it set up right now is uh, I'm just explaining what each tab does inside of my uh, my SaaS product because I have a lot of tabs. I don't want people getting overwhelmed as soon as they log into my SaaS product. I want them to know exactly what each tab does. Um, they could even go through this a couple of times if they want. It's just a great way to, to get people started. All right, and all they do, uh, it's just simple text here that they can read and they click next when they're done and take, automatically takes them to the new tab and they just do that all the way down uh, through each tab. Of course, you're not limited to just your tabs here. You could do I could I could create a part of the tour to tell them what this this button is and you know what this button does and this button like you're not limited to the elements that uh, on your page that you can create uh, or add to your guided tour uh, just so you know so we're using a tool called Useful let's uh, let, let's dive into how to get that set up all right again link in the description would really appreciate it if you don't mind um, but this actually gives you a lifetime deal to this tool called Useful and I have to give a shout out to Russ from the uh, Go High Level Facebook group. Who, uh, who who shared a post and, uh, about how you know how he was using this in his business. So I really appreciate it. And this gives you a lifetime deal. It's only fifty nine dollars versus paying you know thirty bucks a month uh, or thirty dollars every single month or whatever. Like if you go to the Useful website, they uh, App Sumo here gives you uh, a lifetime deal. All right, so uh, that's what I recommend. That just makes sense to me. And uh, once you purchase, you're going to get. A, uh, an email to activate the product. That's when you create your account, your login details, and then you log in, you're good to go. All right, so definitely get used to guys. Uh, it's some, there's some really cool stuff you can do with it. In addition to the tours, you can actually create, uh, so you're here, I'll show you. You can create smart tips, you can create checklists as well, which I'm definitely gonna be uh, playing around with later on. Uh, but right now we're just gonna stick to the tour, all right? So a couple of basic things, uh, just to kind of set the foundation that you're gonna wanna have in place. Uh, I recommend just go ahead and get the JavaScript installed uh, wherever your product or service is. So uh, when you're on your dashboard here under content, you're just going to click install to your site, copy the code, and we're going to go over to go high level in this case. You're going to want to be on your agency view for this, and you're going to click on, well, I guess for your SaaS product. Um, for other things, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, like if we were to do this for a course or whatnot, I just know uh, in, in general, you, you, you want your main dashboard. You want to put this code on your main, your, your main account, all right? So wherever everything is hosted. So uh, right now, I'm just going to say stick to the agency account or the agency view. So we're going to go to settings, click on company, and right down here, this first box should say a, a custom JavaScript. Go ahead and paste that in, update company, good to go there. And then next, uh, you're actually going to want to download or install, I'm sorry, the uh, the Useful Chrome extension. You just Google it. And I know that there's, um, I forget where, preview with plugin maybe, maybe this is it. Uh, it's, it was on the dashboard somewhere, but I just I can't remember where it is. But you can Google it, get the uh, Useful Chrome extension, and you're going to see why this is really helpful here in just a second. All right. Uh, and then from there, go ahead and get your theme created. Um, this is basically where you're going to put like your, your brand colors. You can adjust the font size and things like that. So go ahead and create a theme. I'll just show you what mine looks like here. All I did really was change some of the colors because it defaults to, I think it's just white and light blue, which is fine. You, I mean, you can leave it, but I wanted my brand colors here. So I just changed up the colors. And then you can change the uh, the type of font, the font size. I increased the font size a little bit because it was a little small to start out with. But yeah, and, um, any changes that you make down here at the bottom left, click Save Changes and you are good to go. 
All right, that's pretty much the foundation that you're going to need. And now we can actually uh, create the tour. So um, you'll uh, just click on add tour here. Um, I'll walk you through mine really quick uh, and then we'll just create one from scratch. You can see here all of the, the like I basically created a step for every single tab that I have inside of my, my SaaS product. There's quite a few, but that's also why I wanted to create a guided tour. All right. Um, and then uh, under settings here, I have it set to go to uh, like to have the tour available only on one page. I'll show you what I mean here because I don't want to um, I don't want the notification like popping up on every single page that people go to. I only want it on the initial page that they go to when they log in. All right. So that's going to be under launch pad here. All right. Uh, so I have it set to that. And uh, really all you're going to do there is just grab the, um, like I just grabbed this URL. So I'm on the launch pad inside of my SaaS product here. Just grab this URL. Uh, again, I'm logged into my actual SaaS product. This is not, so you'll see app.elitebrokercrm. That's my SaaS products domain. It's not go high level or anything. So you want to be logged into your SaaS product, grab that uh, URL that you want the tour to display on. And then we're going to go back to used to full. And under settings here, you go to uh, only certain pages and user segments. We're going to do URL contains, paste that URL in, scroll down to the bottom. Uh, you'll save and you're good to go. Um, I like to show the progress and I, I have these first two turned off, just in, um, like show to each user once. I, I, I don't want to turn that on just in case somebody wants to go through it a couple of times. And I, but that's also why I only have it on the one page because I want to pop it up all over the place. So. Uh, and then I keep this on launch automatically when the user basically just logs in, right? So these are the settings that I have for my for my particular tour. You might just want to play around with these, see whatever works best for you. Uh, you can also choose your theme right here as well. That theme you just made, you're going to want to select that and then save and you're good to go. All right, I'll, uh, apply your brand colors. All right, let's actually create a new one though from scratch so I can show you exactly what to do here. And I'll show you how we're going to be using that Chrome extension that we installed earlier. All right, so uh, you're going to click on Add Tour here. All right, and let's break down how to do this. First off, up here at the top left, whenever you're ready for it to go live, then all you're going to do is click here, publish, and it's live. It's on your site. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that until you test this a couple of times. Make sure you have it set up correctly, but that's just how you do it. All right, um, I believe these are, yeah, these are the same settings. So we just uh, went through there. So you can click on settings here, or you can click on this part here to go back to settings if you need to. All right. Cool. So you automatically get a uh, like a default welcome step. All right. Here's the again, the default theme. That's why I recommend creating your own. Now, there's a couple of things here. First off, you can always change the title here. So um, maybe something more specific to your product. Welcome to Elite Broker. All right. And then um, to actually change the text here, you want to uh, click inside of this box here and type in whatever you want. I basically just said, hey, you know, thank you so much for joining Elite Broker. Uh, we've got a, a, a guided tour here that's going to walk you through each tab so you know exactly how to get started and what each tab does, blah, 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 all right? Whatever is going to work for you. Um, you can also put uh, videos in here too. Uh, there's custom uh, embed codes you can do. You can insert video, images. I mean, you can get pretty creative with this stuff, guys. Um, I just did, stuck with text for now just to get my tour up and running. I'll add more to it later, but you just know you're, you're, you, you can do some pretty cool stuff in here. All right, uh, let's see. The next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, let's well, OK, so this is the welcome one. So this is going to actually start the tour. We actually don't need to do anything uh, other than uh, changing the text here. We're going to go ahead and add a step. I like to use pointer so that uh, it actually points at the tab or element, whatever, uh, whatever element you choose uh, and that you're you're explaining here. And uh, again, change the title to whatever works for you. Now, you'll see here uh, and I, I leave this position against element. Um, we, we actually need the element here. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can click here and then insert the website, uh, open the page. Uh, I suppose you could do that. Um, I'm already logged into my uh, to my SaaS product, though. So I recommend just be logged into whatever your product or service is. And uh, so to get this element so that it knows what to point at, uh, we're going to go to, uh, so I'm going to go to my SaaS product. We're going to click on the used to full uh, Chrome extension here and then click on open panel. Right down here at the bottom, that panel is going to open. This is where the, the magic starts to happen. Uh, that I think is just really cool about Useful. They make it really easy. Um, this was kind of a learning curve for me, but it's pretty easy once you uh, once you figure it out. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on this button right here. Select element to get its selector. All right. We're going to click that. And then let's say I want to do 
uh, I'm starting with my dashboard here, for example. I want to uh, I want to start off with this tab right here. We're gonna see how it, it we we hover over it. Uh, I'm hovering over the entire tab here, uh, basically the entire element. We're gonna click that. It's gonna copy it, that to your clipboard. We're gonna go back to useful and just paste that in. That's all we're that's all you do. And then you click save, and you're good to go. Okay, and you can preview everything here. Um, I suppose I could just. Um, well, actually, I still have it on. Um, I still have it on draft too. But anyways, you, you can preview it if you want. Um, that's fine. Uh, I just I stay logged in and then I'll refresh it uh, once I have it live uh, just to check it. But anyways, um, that's basically how you you create like like you make sure that uh, it, as you go as as your clients and customers go through the tour that it's pointing at the right elements, right? And uh, at that point, you just keep adding steps based on whatever it is that you want to explain on this particular page. So if we go back here, maybe I want to, um, maybe I want to explain on the, the first page here, again, just going through the tabs, maybe I want to explain what this button right here does. So if we go back to useful, we'll add a step, we're gonna do pointer. All right, let's edit it, okay. And then uh, from here, we're going to go back to our SaaS product, click on the use to full Chrome extension. Uh, well, actually, I already have the panel open. So we're just going to click this button again to select. I'm going to hover over this entire element, click it, go back to use to full, paste in that, uh, that element tag, whatever it is, and you're pretty much good to go. That's it. Um, there's some other additional features down here, uh, trigger, auto skip. Collect, uh, collect feedback at the end if you want. Um, I'm not really messing with this at the moment. Again, I just wanted to get the tour up and running. But uh, honestly, that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you create a guided tour. It's really not much more complicated than that. You're just adding steps for each part of the page that you want to explain. And you could do this for multiple pages as well. You could, uh, you could like uh, on, on this particular page, like whenever they click on the dashboard, you can have... You can start explaining different things on this particular page if you want, right? It all comes down to the the URL that you're using and just using this uh, useful um, uh, Chrome extension to select everything properly so that it points at the particular element you want. And then uh, once you're done, all you do is change this to live. You know, I would you know obviously log in a couple times, make sure it's working correctly. But other than that. That's, uh, that's pretty much all you do. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, I know I, I had to go through kind of a learning curve with Useful uh, when it came to my SaaS product. But once you get this figured out, it's you, you can make a tour like within 10, 15 minutes maybe. All right. And it's just a, a really neat feature that you can add to your product. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope you guys are crushing it. Leave any feedback. Uh, leave some comments down below. Any questions, uh, feedback, uh, anything else that you want me to dive into more. I'm going to probably uh, create another video when I start using the smart tips and the checklist and things like that. But go ahead and get this tour up and running uh, into your uh, into your product. Let me know how it goes and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.